Welcome to Risk Garage, the channel that provides informative content on project management and risk analysis. Today, we will be discussing sensitivity analysis with spider diagrams and how it can aid project management. What is sensitivity analysis? Sensitivity analysis is a technique that helps you understand how changes in a particular variable can affect the project outcome. In other words, it helps you identify which variables have the most significant impact on the project and which ones are less important. What is a spider diagram? A spider diagram, also known as a radar chart or a web chart, is a visual tool used to display the relative values of multiple variables in a single graph. The spider diagram consists of a central point, which represents the average value of all the variables and several lines extending from the central point, each representing a different variable. Let's use an example to illustrate the development of a spider diagram. Suppose John is operating a manufacturing plant, and his goal is to produce quality products while earning a good profit from the operation. John has identified a few variables that can impact his profit, including labor cost, material cost, bank rate, selling price, and productivity. Let's first plot profit as the horizontal axis and the vertical axis represents the percentage change in variable. The diamond represents the averaged profit. If the labor cost increases, the profit will drop. On the other hand, if John can reduce the labor cost, the profit will increase. The same trend applies to material cost, but probably with a larger magnitude of impact. If John can increase the selling price, the profit will rise. Of course, if John has to reduce the selling price due to competition, the profit will drop. Assuming John has borrowed money from a bank to fund the operation, if the bank rate increases, the profit will drop. However, the change in profit is not linear versus the change in bank rate. Some lines are steeper, and others are flatter. In this spider diagram, a flatter line represents higher sensitivity as a slight variation in the parameter will have more impact on the profit. The lines will then help John decide which factor will need more attention. The likelihood of the occurrence of the variation may be of interest to John. He can then get the views of a few experts to incorporate the probability contours onto the spider diagram. The contour will show that certain variable with higher impact may be less of a concern versus others, mainly because the probability of occurrence is lower. John can then present the spider diagram to the shareholders and discuss the potential impact on profit by different factors, which vary in their possible ranges. Then, effort can be more effectively spent on certain critical variables. So, why use spider diagrams for sensitivity analysis in project management? There are a few key advantages. Advantage number one. They provide a clear visual representation of the impact of different factors on the outcome of a model or analysis. This can be especially helpful when presenting results to non-expert stakeholders, who may not be familiar with the technical details of the analysis. Advantage number two. They allow for easy comparison of the relative importance of different factors. By plotting the sensitivity of each factor on the same graph, it is easy to see which factors have the greatest impact on the outcome. An advantage number three. They are flexible and can be used to analyze a wide range of models or scenarios. However, there are also some disadvantages to using spider diagrams. Disadvantage number one. They can oversimplify complex relationships between variables. The spider diagram assumes that each factor is independent, and changes in one factor will have a direct impact on the outcome. In reality, the relationships between variables may be much more complex and non-linear. Disadvantage number two. They can be difficult to interpret if there are many factors involved. If there are too many factors to display on a single diagram, the diagram may become cluttered and difficult to read. Disadvantage number three. They rely on subjective judgments. Creating a spider diagram requires making subjective judgments about which factors to include in the analysis and how to weigh their importance. This can introduce biases or errors into the analysis, particularly if the person creating the diagram has limited knowledge or experience with the project or domain. 
In conclusion, sensitivity analysis with spider diagrams can help you to identify the most important variables in a project and prioritize them accordingly. While they have their pros and cons, spider diagrams can be an effective tool for project and risk management if used appropriately. By understanding the advantages and disadvantages of spider diagrams, you can make informed decisions about when and how to use them. If you found this content informative, please like, share, and subscribe to Risk Garage for more informative videos on project management and risk analysis. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.